In this video we want to see how we can align an object uh, following a path and what I already did I uh, do these uh, simple rectangle box and uh, I do uh, a path as a spline uh, as a spline and uh, we now want to uh, let this uh, object follow this uh, spline path what I can do in 3D Studio Max, I can go under Tools and uh, use the Spacing tool. And uh, with the Spacing tool and the object uh, selected, I can uh, pick my path, with, uh, which is this line. And then you can already see that uh, something is uh, happening. Uh, I go to uh, full screen and um, I see that uh, I have an amount of 200 objects. I can um, uh, decrease this uh, amount uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, 50, 50 objects. And I, uh, here I have different kind of settings. One important settings is the setting of follow. I increase it a little bit more to uh, 200 again. And um, then we see what this actually does. It just makes it happen that uh, the, the object uh, is oriented in terms of the normals to this path and so it really looks like a really smooth following uh, away along the path. For this it's important uh, to, uh, to see how it's oriented um, um, in my, uh, in my uh, top view and I just copy this object and uh, I will turn this object um, 90 degrees and now we see uh, we want to have a look at uh, what's happening if I use uh, uh, this object for my um, for my away I go again into a spacing tool and pick my um, pick my path and we can see that in the same settings um, again uh, this thing is uh, flat uh, to, uh, to the line so it's really important uh, that uh, how you orient uh, these objects uh, uh, to this uh, to this path and this is uh, related to um, to the pivot point in best case uh, you orient it uh, uh, in the top view and I choose uh, the former object uh, again, go to my spacing tool and go into pick path and we see it works quite well. I have different kind of settings uh, uh, which I can um, use to um, to optimize uh, my result. I can uh, uh, adjust the, uh, the count and also the distance of uh, the spacing and when it starts and when it ends. These are all things I can uh, uh, adjust afterwards. You can do this with any other spline and we try this uh, with another example with a helix and uh, I just draw a helix next to this uh, uh, object and uh, I change a little bit the uh, parameters and uh, I have uh, the first radius of uh, 70, the second radius of uh, 30 and then a height of uh, roughly around 200 centimeters and uh, four turns. I can adjust the amount of uh, amount of turns here in my uh, in my setting. And now it's uh, the same process. Uh, process. I select my uh, away object, and uh, I go into tools and uh, align space tool. And then next, uh, first I go into full screen in this uh, viewport. I go to pick path. I already have the count number to uh, 400 and I have uh, I selected uh, context uh, follow and then I can pick uh, the path it means uh, the spline the helix spline and you can already see what's happening and uh, it works quite well more objects are following the uh, the path and this means uh, the spline of this helix